Hey, what is going on guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here to rate it on the four game Call of Duty main set on Saturday. Uh, before I get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, my name's DK. I make daily videos breaking out NBA, NFL, PGA, and esports daily fantasy sports sites. Esports including CSGO, League of Legends, and this one, Call of Duty. Um, also, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. We are at 3.35 thousand subscribers. Uh, just crazy to think about. If you guys enjoy this content, again, take a couple seconds out of your day. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell uh, so you know when I upload uh, videos right away. Um, and then if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, uh, or you, you guys are, are not familiar, it's just the DKDFS show. The link is in the description below. would appreciate if you could leave a five-star review there uh, as I continue to grow that as well as this YouTube channel. So um, with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Uh, before we get into players and the prices for this slate, what we can do is we can look back at my lineup here from Friday's slate. It's Friday, a little bit, little bit tilting here, so let's go over my lineup. Uh, we had Skies in the captain spot uh, with Slasher, Mac Meltz, Shotzi's, Wuskin, and FaZe. Um, so basically my approach to this slate was I was fading the last game, fading the FaZe game, hope, hoping that FaZe could win 3-0. It just seems like every single time FaZe uh, has played, it just goes to five maps. Um... Yeah, that, I was willing to take that risk, um, but yeah, when, when FaZe goes more than three maps, we see enormous upside from guys like Simp, Selium. We saw it today. Uh, they went off, especially Selium. So that was a risk I was willing to take, but got it a little bit unlucky that obviously went to five five maps. Um, and then I, I want Skies in the captain spot. So super, super tilting about this. He was my favorite value play. Um, he absolutely destroyed it for Florida. Went 54 and 37. He had the best KD uh, of anyone uh, today. It's just unfortunate that they won 3 0, right? I knew that was a slight risk. Florida were the second biggest players of the day. And that's, you know, that's the variance of Call of Duty. There's. I, I wish there was a rounds or maps not played bonus uh, for like the winning teams, but. Um, that we just got to go with, you know, how DraftKings is scoring this right now. And yeah, sometimes you get a little bit unlucky, right? If, if you have a player on a team that wins 3 0, you're, you're basically screwed, especially in the captain spot. Um, like if this game, if that game would have won four, four maps or even five, Skies would have probably put up a huge performance there. But, um, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it. I, I, I talked about Slasher uh, and Mac Melts there. Both are pretty solid, both pretty high owned. Mac Melts, especially, really good there, 128. Shotsies. Yeah, he's just the do-it-all guy for Dallas. He, you know, the bomb plants, the hard point captures, uh, or in, in the hard point, I mean, the domination captures. He, he does it all, really. Um, so he has just been in amazing form. And then Wuskin was the guy I mentioned as a cheap option. He was pretty solid uh, for 6.4K, 98 fancy points, and I went phase in the team spot. But all in all, getting having no exposure to that phase game really hurt me because Selium went off, Simp had a pretty good game. Um, I, I was really hoping for, for that 3-0, and, and it didn't happen. But, um, yeah, I guess what we can do is we can look at some um, some of the numbers for today's uh, slate. So who, who are some guys that stood out, right? So obviously Selam. He had a 1.38 KD. That's really, really good. Um, who are some other guys? Right, Clayster was actually pretty good uh, for Dallas. Uh, you had Shotzi's, again, 1.24 KD. Farrow, he was the, guy, another, the other guy I mentioned on... Florida, 1.22 KD. Again, if you played him, you got a little bit unlucky. Him and Skies were, were doing really well. It's just they won 3-0. Um, Awakening was, was solid once again, 1.41 KD. Uh, and then again, Skies, 1.46. The best KD out of anyone today. Uh, if you played him like myself and I talked him up, it's just unfortunate things like that happen where they 3-0. Um, so, yeah, that was a shot I was willing to take because the, the price in Skies was so good. Um, some other guys that stood out, again, Wuskin was pretty solid. Accuracy, kind of out of nowhere, 1.36 KD for him on New York. Um, that was a little bit surprising. I was not expecting that. Um, obviously, we know Mac melts, but, yeah, the big game from Accuracy was a little bit surprising. Again, Mac was still really good at 1.43 KD. Um, some other guys, Slasher was solid in a losing effort at 1.16. Everyone else in the Optic Gaming team was really bad. Chino, 0.83. Dashy, 0.56. He has been in terrible form. In terrible form that last tournament, terrible form today. He was relatively owned, too. I mean, I did have interest, too. But, man, he has just been playing terrible. Um, Kenny, 0.8 KD. Uh, everyone, yeah, TJ, 0.94. So everyone got smoked there besides Slasher at 1.16 KD. 
Um, and that's really it. Uh, yeah, everyone went negative on Toronto. Um, Kleenex, though, what was decent, if you want that route, right, I mentioned, you know, if it was going to go that phase route, I think running it back with the guy at Kleenex was interesting to take a shot. And he was the best player on that uh, Toronto team. So, um, yeah, that's just some stats I wanted to show you guys. But um, let's talk about the slate here. So, we don't have odds out for any of these games. Um, I assume we will get that, but probably not until tomorrow morning. So, you guys can always be on the lookout for that. I'm going to do my best to kind of guesstimate what these odds will be. So, New York and Atlanta. Um, I, I think Atlanta are definitely going to be favorites. But this one should stay close. And again, Atlanta has really been struggling against bad teams. I would say the odds for this one are probably going to be Atlanta minus 200. But really, I think this one, I think this one will stay close. So let's first talk about the New York side, right? So if Mac melts at 9.6K, I know the price is getting up there on him, but I still like him a lot. He's really, again, the best player uh, definitely on this roster. And he's just a very aggressive player using that sub. He's in a lot of those, and he's in, he's just, again, he's in a lot of those gunfights. So um, I do really like Mac, even at that price point. Um, the other guys on this New York team all got a price decrease because they're playing Atlanta. But, again, we've seen team, like bad teams almost beat Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta's gone to Game 5, Round 11, right, S&D, to have to beat some of these really bad teams like L.A., uh, like Toronto, right? So um, we have a temp at 6.8, attached at 6.8, accuracy at 6.6, .6, zoom at 6.4. I think they're all relatively similar plays. All look okay. And if you want to go game stack in this game, I don't mind taking a shot on one of those other guys. It's just a little bit hard to try to figure out which one's going to have a good game besides Mac, right? So actually had a good game today. I think that might raise his ownership for this slate, but not super convinced he's going to have a good game again. It's really almost a coin flip there with the rest of the guys. If I had to pick, probably would be a tash for me. But, um, yeah, that's really it there. Let's talk about Atlanta now. So the prices in these guys once again look good with Cillium. Uh, at Semp, Cillium at 9K, Simp at 8.8. .8. I like both those guys a lot. Um, yeah, again, when Atlanta, if Atlanta goes more than three maps, those those two especially have huge upside. They're going to be pretty popular, right? Because a lot of the phase games have gone five maps. It feels like, what, the last three or four? Um, so their you know, points per game are up there. But there's always an out, there's a chance, right, this could go 3-0. And if that's the case, then you want no one in this game. But um, New York is a better team than you know, a lot of the teams that Atlanta have played recently that have gone to five maps. So I feel pretty confident this game will go more than three maps, hopefully, because I, I'm, I'm going to have some exposure to this one. Uh, but yeah, I like Selim, who, who looked amazing there today. I like Simp a lot, too. Personally, if you're going to make me just just pick one of those two guys, I'm going to go Simp just because Selim had the big day today. He's going to be higher owned. That's just, you know, my GPP mindset. I think both are, are basically about the same. Simp's going to be lower owned. So I would prefer Simp to Selian, but I think you can play both those guys because they look really good. Again, they do really carry this roster. Abizi, Priesta, and Major Maniac uh, at 7.67K and 7K respectively, I think are okay, right? Um, I think, you know, the only reason I, I get to one of those guys is if I'm going full game stack in this game. Uh, the, the, the next guy I would is have some interest in is Abizi just because he's a very aggressive player. He's always, he's always pushing things. He's always initiating gunfights and search and destroy. He's always, again, like, the first one up there, the front line. So I have some interest in Abizi, but it's definitely silly and some for me uh, on this Atlanta side. Now, Major Maniac is, you know, has had a couple of pretty decent games, but normally he's more the OBJ game, the OBJ guy who doesn't do a whole lot of slang. But um, yeah, Atlanta's just been involved in a lot of bloody games and close games, five game series. Uh, the hard points have been very close. Like they're always really, really close. So that's always good, right? You want those hard points to last as long as possible because the longer they last, the more fancy points you get. Um, so next, let's move on to Florida and Dallas. Um, this one should be another fun one to watch. Two really good teams. This Florida team, since picking up Awakening, have looked unstoppable. Uh, Awakening, 9.8K, that price is going to scare people off him for sure. But he was really good again today. Um, and if you look at, you know, the slate in general, right, you have the Atlanta guys. You have Mac Meltz. You have Slasher on the slate. Um, you have Shotzi's on the other side. Those guys are going to eat up more ownership than Awakening for sure. And I, that's why I think he, it makes for him a good GPP pivot off of those some of those guys I think will be higher owned. Uh, Havoc at 7.4K. Not a lot of interest to me. I would much prefer getting to Skies at 7.2K. Now, Havoc's a guy that's going to be involved in more gunfights, right? He's a sub, a little bit more aggressive player, right? Um, 18 kills per game, 18 or 18 
yeah, deaths per game, whereas Sky is using the AR 17 and 13. So he's not involved in as many gunfights, right? He's a guy that a lot of times is going to be flipping the spawns, making sure Florida gets the good spawns. So, sure, he's not involved in, like, all the gunfights, but he does have normally good KD, and again, we saw it today with, with Sky. So I do like Sky's once again at 7.2K. Um, I think that looks like a really, really good price on him. Frosty, don't have a whole lot of interest in. Pharaoh, I think, is interesting at 66 Again, I think I would rank them Skies 1 and then Pharaoh 2, Awakening 3 for their prices uh, on this Florida side. Um, yeah, Pharaoh is, he had a really good first map. Again, he's more of an S&D player, but when he's getting going in respawn, he can put up a, a pretty decent performance. 6.6K, that looks pretty good as well as a value option. So I do like this Florida side. Uh, again, those three guys that I mentioned. Now let's talk about Dallas. So Shotzi is a 10.2K. It's almost like at this point you play him and, and just move on. Um, he does all the OBJ work. He's in the hard point. He's planning the bombs in search and destroy. He's getting the flag captures and domination. And he's really slaying out, too. So, gotta like shots. He's there. He's, I think, your, your top cash game play of those most expensive guys. Love him. He's just been playing unbelievable Call of Duty. Um, yeah, this is a, a tougher match against Florida, but I'm not too worried. I really, really like shots. He's there. Um, other guys I have some mention are Hook and Illy. Um, Illy had a pretty solid game today, 7.2K. He's been in relatively good form. He's just someone that's going to go low-owned. Uh, Hook at 8K I think is viable, and he's a very aggressive player. He's always um, you know, in those gunfights. I think he's got, what, 19 kills per game, 16 deaths per game. That's really good, right? So I do have mentioned Hook at 8K. Um, I think you can play both him and Shotzi's together. I think that's not a bad combo. If you can't get to Shotzi's, I, I guess don't mind into Hook, but again, Shotzi's does have more upside, definitely. Um, Crimsex and Clay, not super interested in that unless you, you're going like super stars and scrub lights you're just jamming in all those guys at the top and you have to play someone cheap. I could see getting to Crimsex, but not super, super excited about that play. Now let's talk about Optic Gaming in Toronto. So, well, well I guess first I should say the, the Florida Dallas game. This one, I think, is going to be a very close line. I would say that one's almost a pick -em, right? So, then we have Optic Gaming in Toronto. Um, Optic Gaming, I think they are still the more talented team. I still have faith in this team. It's just a frustrating team for how how much talent they have. They, they should be better. Um, yeah, I think Optic Gaming will be favorites in this one. If I had to guess, I would say slight favorites, maybe minus 150. Slasher at 10K. I think he's going to go lower own compared to some of those other guys because uh, didn't have the best game today. It's so solid and a losing effort. But, um, yeah, you can see, like, if Opti Gaming's playing well, Slasher can have a really good KD. He still had a 1.16 when they got kind of destroyed today. So I still have interest in Slasher. I think he's more kind of in that territory with Waking, though, as a contrarian spend-up. Um, Dashy at 7.4K is just literally a complete contrarian play for how bad he has been. Uh, absolutely terrible today. Absolutely terrible the, the previous tournament. Um, he's going to be basically unowned even at this price. If you're looking for a bounce back and a GPP play, if someone's going to be like sub 5% owned that has upside, you could play to him, play him. But really, uh, off of recent play, you can't have confidence in that right now. Kenny or Quavo at 7.2K. Not a whole lot of interest. TJ at 6.6. .6, Chino at 6.4. Yeah, if I had to pick someone else, I think it would be Kenny or, or Quavo as they have listed on DraftKings at 7.2K. But not super, super excited for with anyone else or an optic besides Slasher. On the Toronto side, so now Kleenex went up all the way to 9.2K. I know he had a good game today, but I just don't see myself getting to him. Um, when you have other guys priced close, right? You have Mac Melts, you have those Atlanta guys, you have, you know, Shotzi's. It doesn't make sense to me to, to get to Kleenex. So that's basically an avoid for me. Um, Methods at 8.2, I think is okay. But again, that's just more a contrarian option. Metals, Cami, Bants, eh. I just, I don't know. Nothing really stands out. This Toronto team is a little bit hard to, to kind of nail down. Uh, they're basically a stay away. I think the only guy I would consider would be Methods, but still not super, super excited about that play. And lastly, we have Paris versus London. So two kind of bad teams going to be going up against each other. Um, the price in Luka makes no sense for me to get to him at 9.4K. Again, when you have those other guys I mentioned in the slate, unless something crazy happens, right, unless, like, New York, Atlanta, Florida, Dallas, both go 3-0, 3-0. Then, obviously, he would be viable. But I, I think, you know, those games should stay close. Um, yeah, 
again, one of those guys I mentioned at the top, when you have those guys, there's, there's no reason for me to get to Luka at 9.4. Dens at 8.4, I think is a viable player. He's a, a pretty decent uh, KD for this Paris team, but still not, still not over the top in that play. And then Shocks, Kismet, Zed, it just, I don't know. I, I don't have a great feeling on anyone really on this team. On the London side, it's kind of the same thing. I, I still like... I think Wuskin the best at 7K for his price raise. Price went up a little bit, but he still has the best KD on the team. Now, again, he's more he's the AR player, so he's not going to be involved in a lot of those gunfights, but he's still going to have a good KD, again, kind of like a Skies, right? So I think Wuskin would be the guy I would look to in this game. This game in general is going to be very low O. Like, compared to the rest of these games on the slate, um, it's just going to be, there's going to be guys that are going to be super, super low O. So if you think off chance that those first two games maybe go 3-0. And you want to game stack this one uh, for GPPs. I can see it, right, because that one's going to be low-owned. But sort of a great feel, really, with, with either of these teams. So um, that's really the breakdown here uh, of this four-game slate. And, again, roster instruction purposes, people always ask me, DK, how, how would you go about building a lineup for GPPs or cash games? And it's just always, I say, it's dependent on the slate, right? How do, these, how do the other games turn out? If all four of these games go four or five maps, then your GPP lineup is going to have a mix and match of a lot of different players from a lot of different teams. But if we have a few games or say th all say three games go 3-0 and one goes five maps, obviously you're going to want a game stack of that game that goes five maps. So that's what makes Call of Duty tricky, right? You kind of have to predict how the other games are going to go too when building the lineups. And again, you don't get rounds not played or maps not played bonus. That is a big key in DraftKings. You do not get that. So if you win 3-0, you don't get points for those other two maps you don't play. Um, and then as far as you know, the team spot goes, who am I looking to? Well, FaZe, I don't know if I'm going to get to FaZe. they normally just been a plug-and-play for me, but they really have been struggling against bad teams. And they're at 3K. I, I think a team I have some interest in is... Is Optic Gaming at 1.6k? I think again they are the more talented team. I think they they should be able to beat Toronto. So I'm kind of looking there as the team spot right now. Again, we don't have odds out for any of these games. So if you're a guy that is a cash game player and you get those odds out, probably go with you know the team that are the biggest favorites. That's what I would do if I was building a cash game lineup. But yeah, I think that Optic Gaming at a 1.6k price point looks decent. Even Florida right at 1.4, they've looked really really good. So. Those two, are, I think, are viable uh, punt plays. And you don't really get a huge difference in the team spot, right? A losing team probably get about 10 points or so unless they don't win a map. And then a winning team can get, like, 22 to upside to 28. So not a huge diff or a huge deal getting the team spot right. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for the video today, guys. So if you haven't enjoyed the content so far, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Again, guys, hitting the notification bell does really help me out to can continue to grow this channel. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, I would appreciate it if you leave a five-star review. If you guys are interested in CSGO content, just uploaded my video for the main slate on Saturday. Um, so you can check that out if you would like. Uh, but, yeah, thanks again, guys. Hope you guys all have a good night. Hope you have a good weekend. And I will see you all in the next video.